crazy experiences, there's, I think most people that serve in this mission get robbed at least once. Mm. It's just kind of a normal thing. Um, and honestly, it wasn't as scary as maybe some of the stuff that my dad told me about in Brazil. Um, most of the time, you, probably they're not even armed. They say they are, but they won't ever show you the weapon. So it's not terrifying. Like, you're just like, okay, whatever. And the most important thing is just not to carry anything, you know, expensive. Um, not to have, like, a big watch or not to carry all your money around, obviously. I always had, like, 50 cents just to get me around on the buses and stuff. Um, but that was probably the, the craziest thing. Like, right when I started on my mission, I think it was, like, week eight or something like that. It was the first time I got robbed. And I was like, whoa, what is going on? Um, and, you know, you kind of get used to it after a little bit, you know, how to avoid situations like that where not to go sometimes there's always a map of the area that you serve in and sometimes they'll circle areas you know don't go here after dark you know don't ever go here this one street's bad so just pay attention to that you know be smart about it when you're with them the members it's always a lot safer because they know the area um but one other crazy thing new year's is super weird there it's like the biggest holiday of the year and they do this thing where they, they make these, like, paper mache like, characters, like, from different movies that are popular at the time and stuff like that. And they'll sell them for three or four months in advance. They'll start making them and selling them in the street. And I remember the first time I saw them, I was like, like what are these? Like, what in the world? They have, like, Ice Age characters. They, they're, at the time, they were selling a bunch of those. And it turns out that on New Year's, everyone gets their paper mache stuff, and they'll light them on fire in the streets. And that's like, they call it burning the old year. So they call it like bringing in the new year by getting rid of that old one and lighting it on fire and starting over. It's a little weird, but we would have to stay inside during a lot of the holidays. The mission president would be like, hey, you can go outside for like two hours today. <laughs> it was terrible. That's how Christmas was. That's how New Year's was. That's how there was uh, a couple other days like that. There's this one that at Carnaval where they throw water at each other all day for like three days. Out in the streets, just everyone's just throwing water just at everybody. And so we weren't allowed to go outside most of the day for those. That was weird too. It was kind of fun because we'd stand up like uh, my first year. We were on the fourth floor and there'd be people down on the streets and we'd just get some water and we'd just like pour it down <laughs> like off of the balcony and then go hide. And like they thought it was cool, but it was, it was fun. We actually got to participate a little bit, even though we couldn't go outside. <laughs> but there's just some weird, weird holidays like that where it gets a little crazy, and they'll start throwing stuff and burning things, and it's almost like a riot, but it's it's like allowed. They do do fireworks on New Year's too, but that that was interesting. Just getting used to some of those traditions that they have and the different holidays, and you're like, oh, this is different. Um, it's cool, but most of the time you can't participate. You have to kind of stay indoors. Um, but yeah, that was some of the crazier stuff. And then, of course, I was there for the World Cup, and that was a whole, whole different situation. Because um, Ecuador was in the World Cup, and they won a couple games and stuff like that. And during any like any of the major games, everyone's just no one's in the streets. Everyone's all locked up the, watching the game and. Uh, originally we weren't allowed to watch any of them so we'd just be walking around like trying to find people <laughs> it's like a ghost town outside um, which was cool because they, they're really into soccer and our mission president actually on the last game that Ecuador played in the World Cup he actually let us watch it if we had done something the day before I think if we had invited someone to be baptized the day before then he's like cool you can watch the, the, the soccer game in the World Cup the next day but you know they're really passionate about soccer Obviously, New Year's is huge. It is a little dangerous. Be careful with stuff like that. Uh, it's not. It's not like you should be scared or anything. It's just you know, getting used to um, that environment. It's it's not bad. It's just a question of knowing what to do and where to go, where not to go, and stuff like that. Um, but that was that was the biggest shock in terms of culture shock stuff for me. Was that kind of stuff.